Is being desperately unhappy in a marriage grounds for divorce? Not according to one judge in England. Thank you for joining us. I'm Adam West with another webcast for Tomorrow's World. Unlike many countries, England and Wales still operate a fault-based system of divorce. A BBC News article dated February 15, 2017 recounts how a 66-year-old woman, Tini Owens, has sought for the appeals court to overturn a family court ruling that blocked her request to divorce her 78-year-old husband, Hugh Owens. It states, quote, Judge Robin Tolson ruled against Mrs. Owens in the family court last year, concluding that her allegations were of the kind to be expected in marriage and refused to grant a divorce petition. Philip Marshall QC, representing Mrs. Owens, told the court that the vast majority of divorces were undefended in 21st century England. He said, it is extraordinarily unusual in modern times for a court to dismiss a petition for divorce. Mrs. Owens had made 27 allegations about the way Mr. Owens treated her, uh, including that he was insensitive in his manner and tone, and said she was constantly mistrusted and felt unloved. The simple fact is that I have been desperately unhappy in our marriage for many years, she said in a witness statement. There is no prospect of reconciliation. Mr. Owens disagreed and denied allegations made against him, saying that the couple still had a few years to enjoy. Barrister Nigel Dyer, QC, representing Mr. Owens, said, at the moment, as the law stands, unhappiness, discontent, disillusionment are not facts which a petitioner can rely upon as facts which prove irretrievable breakdown. Sir James Munby, the most senior family court judge uh, in England and Wales, said the judges would examine legislation laid down by Parliament and told lawyers it is not a ground for divorce if you find yourself in a wretchedly unhappy marriage. People may say it should be." End of quote. Well, this matter of grounds for divorce was brought up by the Pharisees, legalistic Jews of Jesus' day. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 3, we read, The Pharisees also came to him, Jesus Christ, testing him and saying to him, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? How did Jesus Christ respond? Verses 4 through 6 tell us, And he answered and said to them, Have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. God actually uh, states quite frankly that He hates divorce in Malachi chapter 2 and verse 16. But are there justifiable reasons for divorce? Is being desperately unhappy in marriage legal grounds in the sight of the God of the Bible, the originator of true godly marriage between a man and a woman? In verse 9, we read the conclusion of the matter. And I, Jesus Christ, say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for sexual immorality, and marries another, commits adultery. And whoever marries her who is divorced commits adultery. Fraud, lying, or deceit in a contract may also be grounds based on the principles found in Deuteronomy chapter 22, verses 13 to 21. And there are circumstances where ongoing abuse must be considered as well. Happiness, on the other hand, is a different matter altogether. Each person is responsible for his or her own happiness. And there are things that can be done to improve a marriage under pressure. Read our booklet, God's Plan for Happy Marriage, to learn concrete principles you can apply to do your part in strengthening your marriage while achieving a greater degree of happiness in your life. Thank you for watching. 
Check out all our free materials available at tomorrowsworld.org. And until next time, take care.